Okay, we got a pretty good head working here. What we're going to do now is uh, work on the nose. Now, just looking at this, I can see several things that are sort of out of whack. The mustache. This side of the no this side of the nose is a little bit narrower from there to there, and this side is over here from there to there. Is that important? Well, it might be, but then again, it might not be. Nobody has a perfect face. I look in the mirror. You know, you look in the mirror, and then you look at a picture of yourself, and you'll notice all kinds of uh, things you don't really notice when you look in the mirror. So, that's what we're seeing here. This guy has no perfect face. So what I'm going to do right now is just ignore what I was talking about there because it's okay. And we're going to carve his nostrils in here. Just to indicate them here. When you're carving your nostrils, see I'm going up because those chips are flying off this way. But I'm going to reach a point where that's not going to happen anymore. And I'm going to have to change my stroke. And that's right there. So I'm going to have to turn this around and carve that way. Like that. Okay, see? Now we've got the point of his nose. away from that flat appearance. Okay, now we want to carve the nostril, the hole. And, after, and what we're after here is we're not actually after a hole. We're just looking for a shadow to indicate that there is a hole there. Because nobody is going to turn that carving upside down and try to see if there's a nostril hole. So what I'm going to do is right here, I'm just going to make a little mark like that. And then come over here and take out a little chip. See there, now we have a shadow that indicates that there's a hole there. Sculpture, and this is sculpture. is just a collection of shadows. Let's go 
good. Now we want to give a little shape to this ducks. Get away from that real wedgy look to it. Looking pretty good. You hear where this blade skips? See the skip marks? That's when you can switch over to a knife like this. And that won't happen because your knife can make that turn to where that big broad blade of the Box cutter can't. There we go, that's good enough for right now. Now, getting back to the indentation on the side of the face. Draw a mark like that. And we'll draw just sort of a T with a slope top. Just like that. And this is going to add a lot of character to your face. So I'm going to start out here, and as I go across, I'm going to dig a little deeper towards this spot and then come out shallow again up here. There you can see my knife blade go in and come back out again. Now, starting up here, I'm going to come down like that, and then go over here and come down like that and then take that chip out of there. And kind of whittle away those sharp lines, especially on the top there. And then we'll do the same over here. Again, shallow up here, go down deep, and then come back up. Soften those lines up there. See how it gave him a gone appearance? we want. Well, with this ex this series, I think what we'll do is keep it fairly simple. Now this guy here, he, he's not feeling too good, I guess. Something happened to him. But uh, this guy here, well, he's, he's in a little better mood than that other guy. So we have to come up with a 
with an expression. And expressions start with the eyebrows. They'll tell you where to go. If you want just sort of a everyday expression, well, right there's one. See there, see how the expression changed just by that there? Now if I carve this chip a little deeper, see how much that expression's changed? This is where it really gets fun is when you do these things. So let's see if I can do it over here. He's getting just a little bit more upset each little chip I take. Alright, let's just go with that and see what happens. Make this one just a little bit deeper. He's getting madder and madder. I'm going to get a small gouge here. Starting right there. There is expression softened up a little bit. Okay, so let's extend his nose on up to here. Keep checking my time here. I don't want to overshoot him. Come up to 14 minutes. So let me just do some quick work on his nose. Right here.
I like to clean it up as I go along, that way I don't have to come back and do it later. It also helps you see, see your details as you're moving along. It's a sharp right there. There we go, we got 15 minutes on the clock, and this side needs to come out just a little bit more. So that's going to do it for this video. And we're moving right along. As you can see, we got a nice character. Boy, he's got a bent nose there, don't he? He's looking pretty good. So in the next video, we'll keep going along here. Maybe start on his eyes and ears, because we're getting... Getting down to where uh, we're going to be putting the finishing touches on this guy. Now you can see that his nose, or his nose, his neck is a little offset and it kind of goes off to that angle like that. Well, that's what I want. That's going to help me when I position it onto the body, okay? To get the attitude I'm after. Alright, so until next time, I'll talk to you later.